is ABC Action News. So why would you do that? Why would you be racing down the road? New tonight, a father dies in a violent crash with a car full of teenagers hitting a tree. I'm Wendy Ryan. And I'm Jamison Dueller. Police say a 15-year-old was driving. ABC Action News reporter Maricela Burgos is live for us in Pinellas Park. Maricela. Neighbors couldn't believe what happened out here along this road. I spoke to a man that works at this tire repair shop. He told me he heard loud screeching noise and then the impact. Surveillance video showing a deadly crash, a Mazda slamming into a tree an hour before midnight Tuesday. Pinellas Park detectives say that Mazda and a Nissan were speeding down Park Boulevard, possibly racing each other when a third car pulled onto the road. One of the cars sideswiped the other, sending the Mazda out of control into a tree. It's kind of surreal because I was just talking to him yesterday afternoon in the garage and um, it's still not setting in. Authorities say this man, Glennis Mullins III, died in that crash. His son and four other teens were in the car. Police aren't naming the driver, only saying she's 15 and has a learner's permit. But why would you do that? Why would you be racing down the road with a bunch of kids in the car? That doesn't make any sense to me. Mullen's neighbors shocked about the crash and the possibility the two cars may have been racing. We get one life to live, um, and especially when you're raising your kids, you get one example to set. Um, it just, it's tragic that uh, it ended uh, in the wrong way. Authorities say the people in the Mazda didn't know the people in the Nissan. The driver and the passenger in that car weren't hurt. To hear something like that, it's not sink it's sinking in now, but I feel sorry for the family for the neighborhood, but um, it could have been avoided. Pinellas Park detectives are still investigating what happened when that car crashed against that tree. I can tell you what we don't know right now is if anyone is going to face any charges, and if so, who? Reporting live, Maricela Burgos, ABC Action News.